I got a low voltage battery warning on the X, so today we're going to replace the battery. You can get a battery from any Tesla dealership and accomplish the install at home with a basic set of hand tools. You could also take that $150 or so you're going to save in labor and pick up a set of nice tools and reuse them for future jobs. Shout out to KC Tools, the largest German tool importer in the country. Highly recommend them and they have supported me through all of my endeavors. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all of the plastic trim in the frunk. All of this trim is just secured with plastic clips, so you can just pull up and they should release themselves. I start with the trim towards the windshield. This is actually what covers the fireman's loop and the fuse box. Go ahead and disconnect the fireman loop, which will disengage the high voltage system. This is a, another push fit connector. Remove the rubber gasket that holds the frunk liner to the tub. This should just pull straight up. There are two LED lights that illuminate the frunk. We'll need to disconnect these before we pull the frunk liner. Otherwise they're going to disconnect themselves. These are your standard push fit connectors so just depress the tab and slide the connector out. Now we can remove the frunk liner by pulling up. Just be careful you don't snag any electrical wires that were connected to the lights. Next, we need to remove a series of 10 millimeter bolts that secure the hard front tub to the chassis. Here are all the locations of those bolts. You'll notice that there are a series of them along the perimeter, along the wall, and on the floor. Once the bolts have been removed, we can simply pull up and remove the tub. With the tub out of the way, you can see the HEPA filter. We'll need to remove this in order to gain access to the battery. If you need to replace your HEPA filter, this is the perfect time to do it. I've got another video for an alternative HEPA filter replacement. I'll add a link to the end of the video. The filter itself is held in place by friction. Simply pull the filter housing towards you to remove it. With the filter out of the way, we have access to the battery. The battery tray itself is held into place by a series of bolts, two on the bottom and two on the top. Now this is just a standard 12 volt battery replacement. Loosen the negative battery terminal with a 10 millimeter wrench, disconnect it, and tuck it away. We do the same thing with the positive terminal. The only difference here is the protective plastic cover. You'll notice a wire bundle that's zip tied to what looks like a bolt. This is simply press fit on the end of another stud. You can just pull up, and it should dislodge itself. Next, we're gonna to need to remove the upper bolts that secure the battery tray in place. Because you'll be working with a ratchet or a wrench, you're gonna to wanna to cap off these battery terminals. As far as I know, all of the new batteries from Tesla come with protective caps, so you can simply pull those caps off the new battery and stick them on the old one. Even though the terminals are disconnected, we can still short the battery out. It's kind of hard to get footage of the two bolts that hold the tray in place, but this should give you a pretty good idea of where those bolts are located and how you can remove them. Finally, we need to remove the remaining two bolts that secure the tray to the chassis. These two bolts are recessed within a rail. You can break them loose with a socket and then unthread them by hand. With all four bolts removed, you should be able to remove the battery tray and the battery. In order to free the battery, you'll need to rock it up and backwards. Once the battery tray has been freed, we'll need to remove the old battery and replace it with the new one. Remove the 10 millimeter nut that secures the battery tie down. With this removed, we can simply slide the battery out and replace it with the new one. I actually had a pretty good run here. This battery was manufactured in 2018 and I had to replace it in 2023. Now we'll start the reassembly process. Slide the new battery in and replace the tie down bracket. Before you work with the new battery, make sure to transfer your battery caps over. 
pay attention to the orientation of the battery terminals. Next, we're going to reinstall and secure the battery tray. This is probably the trickiest part of the entire process. Make sure the tabs on the bottom of the battery tray sit behind the rail. Once you have the bottom tabs in place, you can press down and push the battery into position. Reinstall the four bolts that secure the battery tray to the chassis. Start these by hand and finish them with your hand tools. Be careful when you're installing the bolts for the lower tray. You want to make sure the bolt actually threads into the tray, otherwise you risk stripping the threads. Next, we'll replace the upper mounting bolts. Start these by hand and finish them up with hand tools. After everything is secured, we'll reconnect the battery. As with any 12 volt system, start by reconnecting the positive and then the negative. Secure all of your terminals and double check your work. Once you're satisfied with everything, go ahead and reconnect the fireman's loop. Next, we're going to reinstall the HEPA filter assembly and the remaining front components. If you need to replace your filter, this is obviously a good time to do that. After dropping the front tub in place, start all of the bolts that hold the tub in place by hand. Once you have everything in place and the bolts and tub are aligned, you can go ahead and torque everything down. Replace the front liner, reconnect the lights, and replace the gasket. Finally, replace the remaining plastic trim and congratulate yourself. Save yourself a few hundred bucks. If you've got ideas for other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. And like and subscribe to stay updated when we upload new videos. Until next time.